There are many reasons to why anyone might choose Uganda as their ideal destination for their holiday. One of the reasons might be influence from a friend who has just completed a trip in Uganda. Regardless of the reason for traveling to Uganda, you might only have a fuzzy and muzzy image of Uganda only based on the trivia information and experiences provided either through a friend or trip advisor reviews. In this article, we shall share with you the top 25 destinations you should consider for your Uganda itinerary in 2020 meters. NTB Botanical Gardens Anyone who considers flying into Uganda will obviously come in via Antibe Airport, and due to jet lag, you might need a place just to walk around and relax. There is no other place to be other than Antibe Botanical Gardens. The sounds of monkeys, birds and trees on the windy day will fill the atmosphere opening you up to a still environment that cannot be found elsewhere in Antibe. If you are the kind that loves trees, there is a lot to discover in NT Botanical Gardens. Though guided tour are always recommended, Botanical Gardens is one of those few places where a self-guided tour will still do you well, though not to the extent of the guided tour. To Lake Victoria Anyone who has heard of River Nile has obviously heard of Lake Victoria somewhere in the middle of the same conversation. However, this does not mean that Lake Victoria is all about River Nile, there is more to experience and learn about the biggest fresh water lake in Africa. Your experience of this lake will much be determined from which location you approach it from, in case you are, in Antibe, it will be a gateway point to some of the most amazing islands in Uganda. These include but not limited to Ngamba Island, Bulaga Island, Yesesese Island among other islands. In simple words, Lake Victoria is a place for beaches, wildlife, birding, fishing and swimming. Number 3 Ngamba Island Sometimes it is good to explore a destination to the beats, therefore it is good to explore Antibe town to the beats before proceeding to any other destination in Uganda. Ngamba Island is the home for orphaned and rescued chimpanzees from trafficking. It is one of the leading destinations to learn about the chimpanzees in regard to their emotions, IQ and behaviors. This destination comes with a 45 minutes boat cruise from the shores of Lake Victoria to the airport with a stopover at the equator. At the island, there is a great opportunity of spotting the Milky Way vividly at night. Number 4 SSESE Islands There are over 84 islands in the bucket of SSESE Islands. These all vary in sizes, population, flora, and fauna. Not all these islands have sand beaches as it is commonly alleged, but there are some islands in this bucket that are incomparable to anything you have ever seen. One of these islands is Pineapple Bay commonly known as a honeymoon destination. Anyone who considers traveling to Uganda for honey, Pineapple Bay should not miss on your itinerary. White sand beaches, early morning breeze and other moments that can only be experienced. Number 5 Kampala Craft Shops African attire is one of the most understanding things not only Uganda but Africa at large has to offer. These come in every crafty form you can ever think of, from shoes, to bags, to souvenirs, art and a lot more. Kampala has more than five craft villages where creativity in the African craft is exhibited. Even when you do not intend to buy anything from what is displayed, there is a story, worth being told and carried on through experience and exposure, when you visit these craft shops. Number 6 Endear Center If you are a fan of TED Talks, it has already been clarified through several African-centered talks, that, Africa is not a country, it is a continent with over 55 countries. However, this is not all that you should know about Africa. One of the 56 countries on the African continent is Uganda, with over 50 tribes. By tribes we mean varying languages, culture, and above all, dances. And their cultural center exists to display most of the dances from most of Uganda's tribes. This has made it one of the must visits in Kampala because it is one of the easiest ways to learn about Uganda's culture that is rooted in celebration-related dances as well as initiation dances intertwined with the cultural values. Number 8 Yes Seziva Falls All around the world, 
There are well-known falls distinctive because of their scenic uniqueness, such as Victoria Falls, Niagara Falls among several other falls. But beyond these scenic distinctions, lies backstories that will make you appreciate the communities around these falls. It is often these backstories that create a distinction in depth, which also makes it worthwhile to visit these destinations. Yes, Siziva Falls also has both a traditional and legendary backstory that is worth your discovery alongside its scenic beauty. Number 9. Mobira Forest According to National Forest Authority, Uganda is losing large chunks of forest cover. Several measures are being undertaken to ensure the forest cover in Uganda is preserved. Tourism activities such as zip lining in Mobira Forest, forest walks, bird watching, mountain biking among several other activities, are undertaken to raise funds that are not only for the benefit of the people employed in this forest, but also sensitive people to preserve the environment. The surrounding communities are becoming beneficiaries to the growing rate of tourism in this forest. Though the government had thought of clearing part of the forest to plant sugar cane for sugar production, advocates arose to defend and protect the forest. Anyone who visits the forest will appreciate the flora and fauna in this forest, but above all the tests it has had to overcome to continue in existence even to the present day. It is for this reason that visiting this forest is a great effort towards forest cover conservation in Uganda. Number 10 Jinja Town Jinja is the Uganda eastern tourism capital. It has a variety to offer in terms of sceneries and adventure activities. It is better to avoid specifics in Jinja because of the diversity it has to offer, but for the sake of your itinerary planning purposes, you might have to consider activities such as bungee jumping, white water, rafting, quad biking, horse rides, journey to the source of the Nile and Jinja Town historic tour. It might take you a week or more to fully explore Jinja Town, but you can consider choosing one or two items to include on your short stay in Uganda itinerary, only make sure you have the source of the Nile and white water rafting on the list. Number 11 Sipi Falls Uganda has many hiking destinations, the unpopular hiking destinations are often hindered by lack of diversity, therefore their breakthrough lies on only one activity. Marketing an activity like hiking is not so much popular to Uganda, but the market seems to be growing and picking up interest in hiking. Today, Sipi Falls is the most popular hiking destination partly, because of the scenery of the Sipi Falls. The majestic scenery of these falls invites you into an adventure that gets you hiking. However, besides hiking, Sipi Falls has a lot more to offer in terms of culture and local community experiences. It is for this reason we recommend it for your year-long itinerary that can be experienced in beats and pieces with the help of our safari planning team. Number 12 Pianuk Game Reserve Treasures are never found in public places, and if they are, then they are packaged in ways that make it more hidden to a mere eye. This description perfectly fits Pianuk Game Reserve. It is one of the least visited destinations in Uganda, making it less tampered with in terms of nature. Anyone hiking in Sipi Falls can easily connect Pianuk Game Reserve on their itinerary to enjoy the African plains with amazing antelopes that are well distributed in the reserve. Number 13 Mateniko Game Reserve The reserve is in the same bucket with Pianuk Game Reserve, one of the least visited because of the poor infrastructure in this reserve. You might need a good safari car to fully explore this reserve. The reserve is one of the few places where cheetahs can be spotted in the wild. Other animal species that can be spotted in the park include olive baboons, serval, cats, bukars, hyenas, among several other Ugandan indigenous wildlife, animal and bird species. Number 14 Kaitpo Valley National Park Rated among African top 5 destinations for 3 years in the row by CNN Travel, Kaitpo Valley National Park remains a unique destination in Uganda. It cannot be compared to any game drive-centered park in Uganda. It has lions, cheetahs, leopards, elephants, buffaloes, giraffes and almost all the antelopes found in other national parks in Uganda. 
its unique savanna vegetation makes it stand out, thus an ideal destination for your Uganda safari. Number 15 Naru Falls The falls are found in northern Uganda in the proximity of Gulu and Kitgum, making is a special stopover en route Murchison Falls National Park. If there is anything in the world that fits the tag of a village of waterfalls, it is Aru Falls. The falls are a collection of more than 10 following streams unique to their kind in Uganda. Number 16 Murchison Falls National Park Murchison Falls has been known for the last 50 years because of its stunning falls until in late 2019, when Uganda Wildlife Authority introduced white water, rafting at these spectacular falls. You can be assured of a game drive to spot elephants, lions, leopards, buffaloes, boat crews, and now white water rafting in the same park. Number 17 Jiva Rhino Sanctuary The Rhino Sanctuary is strategically located, making it one of the best en route to Murchison Falls National Park. Rhinos in Uganda had gone extinct until measures were adopted through Jiva Rhino Sanctuary to do captive breeding so that in future years, they can be reintroduced in the wild. Jiva Rhino Sanctuary and Uganda Wildlife Education Center, NTB are the only two places where southern white rhinos can be found in Uganda. Every visit contributes to the preservation of these endangered species. Number 18 Semoliki National Park A combination of swamps, hills and valleys is the total sum of Semoliki National Park. It is one of Uganda's leading budding, Havens though mostly known for the hot springs. Hot springs are an adventure in themselves, it is always a pleasure for visitors to do some cooking more, so of eggs and bananas in the hot springs. Several myths and stories rotate around the hot springs, to the superstitious it is a good place to throw out things while to the curious a special place for discoveries. Number 19 Kibale Forest National Park Chimpanzee tracking is one of the most adventurous activities that Uganda has to offer. Though chimpanzees can be found in more than five destinations, all around Uganda, Kibale Forest National Park has proved to be the best chimpanzee tracking destination with more than 98% chances of sporting chimpanzees in the wild. The park also offers night hikes, butterfly viewing, and several other primates are available in this park in abundance. Number 20 Mountain Arwenzori National Park Arwenzori Mountains offers some of the best hiking destinations in Uganda. Its unique vegetation offers some of the best sceneries in Uganda. It might take you about 15 days to get to the highest peak however, there are also short hikes that can be carried out one day or two days trip. Arwenzori Mountains are a canopy of falls, rivers, glaciers, forests blended together to form some of the best sceneries you will ever find in Uganda. Number 21 Queen Elizabeth National Park Queen Elizabeth National Park always battles it out with Murchison Falls National Park because of a high percentage of similar animals, species, birds, and the boat crews. However Queen Elizabeth National Park always has an advantage of the tree climbing lines. The park offers special tree lion tracking packages, making it the second place in the whole of East Africa where you can spot tree climbing lines. Number 22 Bivine the Impenetrable Forest National Park Gorilla tracking is the main tourism activity in Uganda. Any package lacking gorilla tracking is a polite way of saying see you soon mountain gorillas are some of the world's most endangered primates having hit the 1000 population mark just of recent. Mountain gorillas can only be found in Mgahinga Gorilla National Park and Bivine the Impenetrable Forest National Park. However, Bivine the Impenetrable Forest National Park seems to have an advantage over Mgahinga Gorilla National Park because of a higher gorilla population and families. The former reputation of visitors missing out on spotting gorillas in Mgahinga marred its popularity to the point that, even though things changed, People still carry the old image of it, but today, I would even recommend it above Bivine the Impenetrable Forest National Park. Number 23 Lake Mutanda Lake Mutanda is often considered the second best option of Lake Banyoni, but if you choose to go beyond the comparison, rather focus on the experience and the scenery, 
then this place will exceptionally be worth your time. However, Lake Mutanda accommodation often sells out so quickly, therefore we advise you do your booking at least 3 to 4 months prior more, so considering the months of August, December and January. Number 24 Lake Banyoi Visitors always complain about value for money when it comes to accommodation, but one of the places in Uganda where visitors have come to appreciate their value for money is Lake Banyoni. The hills offer the best sceneries, freshness, kanu and community tour that make your safari absolutely exceptional. Unless you visit Lake Banyoni, you have not had the true experience of Uganda's hospitality. Number 25 Lake Emburo National Park Lake Emburo National Park is the closest park to Kampala with a vast population of almost all the antelope species in Uganda. These include but not limited to Uganda Cob, Impalas, Topi, Elans, Dwikars, among several other antelopes. The park offers sport fishing, boat cruise to spot wildlife, horse rides and game drives. It is always the best way to close your wildlife experience in Uganda. Thanks for watching my video, please subscribe my channel and press bell icon for updates of my new videos.